I know that I cannot be the only one. Where you're in school and you literally, like, break your arm or something. Or, like, your knee is split open. There's literally blood everywhere and you're in so much pain. Like, you've literally just broken a bone. So then, obviously, you're going to go to, like, the school nurse or medical room or whatever. And all they would say is put a wet paper towel on it. You would just stare at her in disgust. Like, miss, I've broken my arm. Are you seriously just going to sit there and watch me hold a stupid wet paper towel on it? And then they say, like, oh, don't worry, sweetheart. I'm, like, trained to do this stuff. Well, you're clearly not, hun. Can you not, like, call my mum or something at least? Like, just do something. Because wet paper towels do not cure anything. They're not made of magic. Tell me why people in my class are so energetic at, like, 8am in the morning. Okay, they're all laughing, having fun, whilst I look like an ugly rat. They're looking fresh as a daisy, just come out the freaking shower. And I look like, I don't know, I haven't slept in months. I also get cranky in the mornings because they, stupid school, and my alarm interrupted my lovely dream with Shrek. Oh. I do not understand in the slightest how I can literally be falling asleep, right? I cannot keep my eyes open. But then when I actually get into bed and I want to go to sleep, I can't. I'm all of a sudden not tired. It's like I swear my days are backwards because I don't know how this works. It will take me like three hours to properly go to sleep. Even though ten minutes ago I was so tired. Sometimes it might just be the middle of the night and I will just still be laying there thinking about random things. Like how? One day I was at McDonald's. I decided to order a chocolate milkshake. Bad idea by the way. I was drinking my milkshake when all of a sudden I needed to fart. But it was more than a fart. I shouted all over the seat and my family. Everyone started staring and laughing at me because I let out the most. Sloppy, ploppy, goggy, foggy, smelly, pig's belly, slimy jelly shit ever. I could have been mistaken for a rocket because my shit was making me fly up in the air. I saw someone recording me and I was like, oh hell no you stinky rat, very fat, fishy fanny. I grabbed their Dora flip phone out of their hand and said, never do that to me again you stupid bitch. I didn't even care that she- Is it just me? Like, when you're watching YouTube, or like anything that has adverts, an advert pops up, and it's just like, Reading's not that easy, but Grammarly can help! This sentence is grammatically correct, but it's wordy and hard to read! It's like, no! I don't want Grammarly! I can write! I can read! I don't need this! And then it has the audacity to be like, Are you sure you want to skip this advert? Yes, I'm sure I want to skip it! Is it just me? Like, when you're scrolling through TikTok, you could be on any video, and then automatically TikTok, like, scrolls down, like, a bajillion videos. Like, I'm sorry, honey, but I'm not finished with the one I was just watching. And you've just scrolled, you've just scrolled down, like, ten videos. So then you have to scroll up again to watch the videos that TikTok just told you, no, you're, you don't get to watch these. Does that happen to anyone else? Because I've asked my friends about it, and they said that it doesn't happen to them. What What is it about me, TikTok, huh? Why can't I watch videos, huh? Right, but what the actual hell is going on with British weather at the moment? Like, I wake up and it's a beautiful sunny morning. I go downstairs, have my breakfast, and it starts raining. And you're like, well, gonna have to bring my brolly to school then, aren't I? You're on your way to school and all of a sudden it's sunny again. You're like, oh, that's really weird. I didn't even need my brolly. You get into school. It starts raining again. Oh, great. Rain again. Glad I bought my brolly. And then, halfway through the day, it's misty! It's like, why is it misty? Oh well. And then it's the end of the day. It starts raining again. Oh, well, got my brolly. I'll be fine. You get home and it starts bloody snowing. Like... What? And you're thinking, well, I'm not going outside. It's snowing. So you go upstairs, you sit down, and it's sunny again! 
So you think, oh, let's go out on my trampoline. Why not? It's sunny, it'll be warm, you know. You go outside and it starts, like, snowing again. And then it's sunny again and it's snowing again. And then it's sunny again and then it's snowing again. Like, is it just me? Last night I got woken up at 2.30 in the morning because there was horrendous winds. Like, terrifying winds. Making me think that my house is going to lift off the ground like Dorothy from, what's it called? Wizard of Oz. Like, what? You know, I really wonder about myself sometimes. And it's slightly worrying. Like, today i've been feeling really dizzy and kind of just light-headed all day and i'm like what the heck is wrong with me i'm i'm g literally gonna die what is wrong with me so i tell my mum when i get home from school and she's like you're probably dehydrated that's like one of the symptoms of just dehydration and i'm like i spent my whole day freaking out about it god's sake kaylee you're not stupid you know that Thing number two, today in English, I was sitting at my desk singing Another Love in my head. And I only really know a little bit of it because I can't go through the whole song because I haven't listened to it that much because I'm not that sad. I'm sorry if I offended you. Um, anyway, so I was singing that in my head. And then, you know when you don't know the rest of a tune so you just start singing another tune that sounds the same to the tune you're singing? Well... I didn't even do that. I started singing the flipping Angry Birds theme tune. And I sit, I think to myself, and I'm like, how? How? What? Okay, thing number three. One night, I could wake up randomly in the middle of the night, and I'd be like, oh my god, I'm never going to sleep well again. No, you just woke up randomly one night, Kaylee. It's not the end of the world. Get over yourself. And then I'll also do really stupid stuff and then complain about it like it's someone else's fault. Like, no, you did it. Like, I don't know, go into the shower with gold jewellery on and then complain when it comes out brown. Or try to capture a spider in your cup that's on your wall one night. And then as soon as you capture it in the cup, you drop the cup and then it scurries off into your bed somewhere. And then you're like, oh no, that's so annoying. It's like, why'd you drop the cup then? Also, you know how one of my videos went viral a while ago because I was complaining about teachers? Well, I've got another one for you. I got a letter sent to me last night saying that teachers are going to be checking skirts every single day that make sure they're not rolled up. I roll my skirt up in school because I don't want to look like a bloody year seven. And the new skirts that my mum bought me this year literally go down to my blinking ankles. Some teachers just really get on my nerves, you know? I don't know what planet they're on, but they definitely are just built different. Here's an example. When you need to go to the toilet, you politely put your hand up and say, Miss, can I go to the toilet? No, you should have gone at lunch. I'm sorry, Karen, but I can't control my bladder. You know, at lunch, when I'm eating and drinking, it gets digested. And then later on, I need to go to the toilet. It will take me five minutes at max. Probably not even five minutes. Considering our lessons are like an hour long, I'm sure that's not too much of an issue, is it? And then sometimes they're just like, okay, but you need to wait until so-and-so gets back. I need to go to the toilet. I don't care about talking to anyone. I want to go to the toilet. I don't care about that. What do you think we're going to do in there? Just sit and chat for the rest of the lesson? No. And then they're like, don't want you having a bit of a mother's meeting in there. Oh my god. And the scariest thing in school is when they put the, the I can't even say it, the name on the board. Ah! Is it just me? Like, when you're watching YouTube, or like anything that has adverts, an advert pops up, and it's just like, Raiden's not that easy, but Grammarly can help. This sentence is grammatically correct, but it's wordy and hard to read. It's like, no! I don't want Grammarly! I can write! I can read! I don't need this! And then it has the audacity to be like, Are you sure you want to skip this advert? Yes, I'm sure I want to skip it! <laughs> so here's a little story time for you guys. When I originally made this account, I was going to make it like one of those commentary videos 
um, where people like take se- like bad videos and like talk seriously about them about why it's wrong, and it's definitely not turned into that account. Um, my first video actually got taken down for online bullying. <laughs> I wasn't even being mean to anyone, <laughs> and I was I like was like ah oh, this is rubbish. I'm just gonna post a random video about my mum, and then I logged out. And then it kind of blew up. So I logged back in and I was like, you know what? Let, let's keep this account. <laughs> it's kind of weird because I wasn't like trying to gain anything from this account. But I ended up getting quite a lot. And I'm really thankful for it. But I kind of forgot that I originally had this account for that. Hello. <laughs> I have a really funny story time to tell you all. So, yeah. So I was playing Tower of Hell and I was on like the pro towers and when I got to the top there was like this whole entire gang of like copy and pastes and they full on like they started attacking me well not attacking me but they were literally saying like oh my god imagine having that style so I decided to ask them if they had TikTok and they said yes so I asked them like what's their users and how many followers they have and all that jazz And they told me they aren't going to tell me the user, but they said they had 2,000 followers, which is apparently more than I have. When I was 12, I used to write sexual stories on Wattpad. This boy named Justin Bieber added me as a friend and he had Justin Bieber as a profile picture and everything. He messaged me and said I was cute and that he was the real Justin Bieber. I believed him and we started online dating and I told everyone at school I was dating Justin Bieber and I showed our messages to everyone every day. He said he wanted to meet up after school in the car park and I said okay. I told everyone he wants to meet me after school and everyone got so jealous. I got to the car park and I see a 50 year old man wave at me and he called me over. I said do you know where Justin Bieber is and he said that he's Justin's dad and that he will take me back to his mansion to meet him. Last night I was lying in bed and I realized something. You know when you hate your siblings? Yeah we all do. And then you're like oh well you're the adopted one. And you don't really mean it, it's kind of a joke. But like, my brother's actually adopted. <laughs> so, I'd be really mean if I went up to him and be like, oh, you're the adopted sibling. <laughs> a few days ago, my mom asked me if I know what WAP means. She said she sees it all over Facebook and that she's tired of it. I said it means waffles and pancakes, and that's what I'm going to make for breakfast. She said oh yum and walked off. I ended up making them because I promised even though I know that's not what WAP stands for. She ate them and loved them and she put a picture up of me when I was making them. She captioned it I just gobbled up my daughter's WAP. It was scrumptious. People were laughing in the comment section and she didn't know why. She was replying back to everyone saying what's wrong with eating my daughter's WAP. The post got removed because of community guidelines. In primary school, it would be home time and all the parents are standing outside waiting for the teacher to let you go. And then suddenly a very, very serious crime happens in the classroom. Your teacher has discovered that there is one glue stick without a lid on it. She would say, Um, excuse me everyone, where is the missing glue stick lid? You are not leaving until somebody finds it. Everyone is on their hands and knees, desperate to find the stupid piece of plastic. Like love, it's only a piece of plastic. Nobody wants to steal it. No one wants to sell it. It's worthless. I'm Debbie and this is my story. One day I was in my English class watching a movie about Shakespeare. I had beans and coffee before school. The most deadliest combination. It wasn't even that long before my stomach started rumbling when I got into class. The movie was really loud and I sat at the back of the class so I thought it would be my perfect chance to let out the most bubbly fart so no one could hear it over the sound of the movie. As soon as I was about to do it my teacher paused the movie to explain a scene and that's when I let out the most soggy doggy. Butchered froggy. Shit comes out loggy. Made the room foggy. So loud you would think it was the 4th of July. I swear to God one kid sitting next to the window opened the blinds because he thought he heard a thunderstorm outside. I dropped my books on the floor in hope of a save, thinking that people would have thought the sound was my books dropping. But that's when the creamy lumps fell out of my pants onto the floor. I ran out crying to the bathroom and called my mom and she took me home and got me new clothes. I had to go back to school the next day and everyone was laughing at me and was calling me Diarrhea Debbie. Don't tell me you've never had a friend like this. So, you'd be going out with them, like to the park or just for a walk or something, and it just happens that your crush is coming along. You know, you're all excited. You know, everything's fine. Until your friend and your crush start flirting. And the worst part about it 
is they know that that is your crush. And they're like chasing each other, telling you embarrassing moments that you trusted them with, and just full air leaving you out of the conversation. And you're just stood there like, <laughs> but in your head you're like, sis, don't act like I won't just walk home. I don't care if we're in the middle of the forest, okay? Here's another example. You're going out with another friend. It's just supposed to be the two of you. It's supposed to be a nice best friend day. But no, Tracy over there wants to pop along on your nice walk. Then boom, it's like you're not even there. It's like you're a ghost. It's just them two making TikToks together and not even asking you to be in them. You know, friends like this get on my nerves. I swear to God, if you're like this, I actually hate you. And I have lost so many friends to this. One time when I was little, I thought I could talk to trees because I had no friends. And I used to sit by them and, and say things and one day I was talking to my tree friend called Kevin and this girl went up to me and said are you talking to that tree, freak? And I started crying and hugged onto the tree. And while she was laughing one of the branches fell on the girl's head. Since I don't go to in-person school, I stay online and do school on Zoom. I thought being online was very convenient because I could bring my tablet anywhere with me and still be in school. One time when I was on my lunch break, my mom went to get me a taco from Taco Bell because my other option was disgusting and God knows that I would rather die than to eat that shit. I went to go get my food from the kitchen and went up to join my class because my lunch break was over. I was eating the taco and all of a sudden my stomach started to boom boom shakalaka grumble bumble. In my head I was just like, I can just bring my tablet to the bathroom with me while I shit. So I did that. I placed my tablet against the wall facing me and I took a shit. The shit literally shot out of my asshole faster than the earth could orbit around the sun. I did the most runny gunny, faster than a bunny, bees making honey, it spent my money, I was far from done me, I wasn't funny, chubby bunny, outside was sunny, extremely smelly, wiggled like jelly, traumatized Kelly, welly belly nelly, fly in the heli, cell phone telly, scared my cat Shelly, petroleum jelly. People started laughing but I thought the teacher said something funny. Then the teacher said, Sophia, you had all of lunch break to use the bathroom and you choose to not only do it during class but to also show us all too. I froze for a good three seconds because of how embarrassed I was. I fell face first into the floor and left the zoom and turned my tablet off. I stayed there with my face in the floor for like three minutes just taking in what I just did. I didn't go back to school for like three weeks. When I decided to go back, people called me Sophia Diarrhea. So you know when you're playing Roblox with your friends and they're like, oh, what game do you want to play? And you're like, oh, I don't mind, you pick. And they're like, oh no, I picked last night, you picked tonight. So you just pick a random game, let's use Murder Mystery, for example. And you're like, oh, let's play Murder Mystery. And then your friend's like, I don't like that game. Well, don't tell me to pick the game then. If you don't like the game that I want to play, don't ask me to pick the game in the first place if you're not gonna play the game I want to play. So then you suggest another game, like, oh, let's play Royal High. I don't like Royal High. No. If you want me to pick the game, you got to be happy with the things that I tell you. you got to be happy with the game that I pick. Because if you're just going to say no to all the games that I pick, what's the point in asking me to pick? Chloe, I know you're probably going to see this. And I know you're listening to this. I will come for you and I will find you. Hey, my mom told me and my siblings that she had saved up enough money to buy her dream car. We were like, yes, queen, period. Anyways, after she picked up her new whip, she took us and we got some yummy, yummy McDonald's. My phone was on Bluetooth and we were blasting music and having a full on karaoke session and all that fun shit. But of course, I had to fucking spill my coke. But my mom said it's no big deal. But I expected a whooping. The next day, while she was cleaning her car, we had to go outside because we had a cleaner. I was learning the new what dance and didn't realize my phone was still on Bluetooth. So this is what my mom heard. Now from the top, make it drop. That's the wet. And I get a bucket and a mop That's so wet, that's so wet I'm talking wop, wop, wop My siblings were laughing like bitch fucking shut up my mom asked what what means and I had to go with the classic and told her it meant waffles and pancakes smirking face. The next day she went shopping with my stepdad. Me and my siblings woke up with waffles and pancakes and had a note that said, had to go to the shops hope y'all enjoy the walk. We were all laughing on- I have a story. One day in fifth grade we were on a field trip. On the bus I was sitting next to this weird girl named Patty McBerry. For some fucking reason Patty was so excited about the trip. We were going to a fucking museum. What the actual fuck who likes museums they are so fucking boring. Anyways, halfway through the trip Patty McBerry started coughing viciously. She had a seizure due to overexcitement. She was shaking from happiness for the rest of the ride. When we got there Patty McBerry ran out of that bus faster than coronavirus spreads. She fainted because she was so excited. The tour guide had to hold on to Patty while he showed us around because she was too hyper. Out of nowhere, Patty McBerry broke free and ran right to the live animal section. She went to the gorilla's enclosure and smushed her face against the cage wall. Then out of nowhere she starts climbing up the fucking wall. Patty McBerry jumped into the enclosure and tackled the gorilla out of excitement. The gorilla ate Patty and she died. Everybody. So, I don't know if this is just me, but in primary school we used to have this big wooden climbing frame thing. Like, it had ropes and, um, like a ladder rung so you could kind of climb up it sort of thing. Let me just show you what I mean. Yeah, so that's what I mean and 
everybody was always like, oh, Miss, can we use it in um, PE or games, whatever you want to call it? And she would always be like, okay, we'll use it next lesson, I promise. And let me tell you, we never used that thing. It literally just sat there like it was a piece of display. Like, that thing never moved and nobody ever touched it. So I don't know what that was about. I swear, it can't be just me. You miss one, one day of school and then the teachers let you go home early and it hasn't even been half a day. Ariana Grande shows up to teach your music lesson. There's a massive water balloon fight at lunchtime. All sorts of tea, nothing compared to what you've seen before. Movies in English, along with a school trip to a theme park. You meet famous TikTokers and get their merch for free. And then you never hear the end of the day you missed again. In time when I was eating a taco with beans in it, my stomach started to grumble bumble. I tried running to the bathroom, but I didn't make it in time. I pulled the most sticky icky, came out quickie, please don't licky, azalea icky, menage nicky, don't tell Vicky, look it up on wiki, it was very sloppy, very floppy, like a grass hoppy, it wouldn't stoppy, give me a moppy, it was very clumpy, extraordinarily bumpy, humpty dumpty, Donald Trumpy, made me jumpy, made me grumpy, extremely slimy, made me climby, not so limey, smelled real bad, according to dad, I need a pad, don't tell Chad, made me sad, totally rad, biggest shit I've ever had, not so glad, help me please, made me freeze, gave me fleas, air febreze, a choo sneeze, ABCs, made me wheeze, it was fast, like a guest. It long lasted. I need an asshole cast. Came out full blast. On the forecast. I was harassed. Vigorously smelly. Welly deli belly. Smelled like new deli. Looked like a pork belly. Rixie skelly. Don't tell Ellie shit I've ever done. Turns out I have bowel cancer.